Before operating the Omniox HFT700, check that the following has been done. Make sure the power cable and oxygen high pressure hose are connected to device and power switches turned on at the rear side. The AC power, the LED, will turn green when the device is ready to be powered on. The water chamber is mounted as if it is pushed into the heat plate. When you hear a click sound, it is safely mounted. Water chamber will be auto-feed when it is connected to the water bag and the clip is opened. Connect the bacteria filter to the gas outlet port and connect the other side to the water chamber. Connect the heated circuit that is directly connected to the patient to the other port of the water chamber. There is a port to connect the heat wire and temp probe cable in the circuit. If the Y cable is stored with the connection pair bent, contact failure may occur, so it is recommended that the connection part be stored without bending. Heat wire should be matched with the female adapter at the end of the circuit and then tightened. For the temperature probe cable, open the cap of the temperature probe hole of the circuit and tighten. Prepare a cannula to connect to the patient in advance. Considering the nasal size of the patient, select the right size and connect it to the circuit. At the lower part of the front of the device, there is a port to connect the SPO2 extension cable. SPO2 extension cable is connected to the corresponding port. A click sound indicates that the connection is safely complete. The sensor can be equipped with a reusable or disposable SPO2 sensor, depending on the user's needs. After that, when connecting SPO2 sensor and SPO2 extension cable, make sure to match the shape of each connector. Be sure to close the cap as it can be pulled by external force. Press the power button for about three seconds to turn on the device. The device will alarm single beep shortly Software loading appear on the screen and progress that system loading 100% within 10 seconds. On the first screen, you can select new patient or last patient. If a new patient connects a new circuit and uses a new size of cannula, select new patient. If you select the same setting consecutively with the same treatment method for the same patient, select last patient. When selecting a new patient, the patient's basic information should be entered in order to link with the hospital's information system. If it cannot be linked with the hospital information system, this process is omitted. If want to change the treatment mode and other configuration, touch the screen and then turn the encoder to change the mode and press the screen or encoder again to confirm the changes. After selecting the desired treatment mode and press next button, the cannula calibration button appears. In HF mode, press the cannula calibration button within status of connect all accessories including cannula. In the case of CPAP and ST mode, press the circuit calibration button with the circuit and mask separated. When calibration is complete and confirmed, the device is ready to begin therapy. To stop treatment, press the stop button on the screen or press the power button briefly, and a pop-up window will appear to confirm the treatment stops. Select OK to stop treatment. After stop treatment, click the power on, off button for about two seconds, and pop-up window will appear to confirm power off. Select yes to turn off the power. Turn off the AC power switch on the rear side of the device. 